Today we're looking at processing sweet corn, some of our new genetics that have superior yield and recovery, as well as very good consumer traits, such as flavor, tenderness, and sweetness. Right, let's look at what we have here a bit closer. Wow, we have um, ears which are really uniform. We have the same length, uh, beautifully straight rows, beautiful color. Um, when you talk about processing, it's important uh, to look at the kernel depth and to have big kernels, what we call recovery. The complete tip fell. The ability of these hybrids to produce in the changing climates that we're having. So we're really working hard on the, on the stress tolerance and consistency of performance of these hybrids. Speaking about the fresh market uh, hybrids, we have really exciting new product introductions and uh, new materials coming up. New genetics have even stronger performance in, uh, in this unpredictable climate. They have uh, better resistances against the new diseases, new viruses. The best of it all is the taste. We have such incredible flavor profile for the fresh market that no customers will be disappointed. And I think we need to test it. Really good sweetness, tender pericarp. Oh. It just shows um, the quality we have, very delicious. We have the largest breeding program in the world for, for sweet corn and, and we're doing a very good job of uh, addressing the needs of the customer. Yes, and we have many trial locations as well across uh, uh, Middle East, uh, Europe. Uh, we, we, we are testing these varieties in, in cold conditions, in hot conditions, uh, uh, dry conditions, and then we are selecting the best ones which we survive and uh, deliver to, to our customer needs. Having a global sweet corn breeding program focused on common traits like that have really allowed us to accelerate uh, uh, the introduction of new varieties. Yeah.